Welcome back guys to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. And now we're heading on to Gorilla Glacier in Snow Barrel Blast. Oh, this should be fun. Unfortunately, the the overworld is not shaped like a giant gor a gorilla, considering it, it's entitled Gorilla gl Glacier, but... Oh well. We clearly do not need this token because I'm I'm pretty well suited with 82 lives. I mean I'm 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 still hanging on the edge if I'm going to beat this game with all those lives or not. But man, oh sorry, 83. And there's a reason why that went up balloons there, and that's not because this place is a cakewalk either. I love how the snow slowly builds up as you progress through the stage, and of course the snow sound effect behind it. I, I, this is probably the scariest level in the game, without a doubt, or at least for me. I'm talking more over about the... Um, the atmosphere it creates for the level. Anyway, back here is a bonus barrel. And in this bonus stage, it contains the letter O. That works out dandy and fine. Oh, I should have jumped. Oh well. It's probably better if I use Diddy over here, considering he has a higher jump than Donkey. But you really have to think, since this is technically Donkey Kong Jr.'s son, and the original Donkey Kong was um, <clears throat> from the original arcade game, Cranky Kong is the original Donkey Kong. Um, you have to think, this Donkey Kong, is he technically named Donkey Kong the Third? Alright, I have to be really patient here. Alright, here's another section. This way you can effectively skip a bunch of the level, which is quite thankful because that is a very long um, sequence, barrel sequence over there. And that's the end of the stage. Alright, next up we have Slip Slide Ride. And strangely enough, there's only one, one of these um, stage themes, one of these places with a stage theme, which is considerably odd since of course, this this stage has its own level, th a musical theme behind it, and and well, it's it's so gosh darn cool. I mean, this stage is visually really really pretty to say the least. And of course, the level gimmick here is that the the ropes slide up and down depending on what color they are. Blue ones slide up while red ones slide down. And I guess that's what the, the unique thing about the stage is. Nah, I don't really care. Is that, you know, there's only one of this type. And I guess that's what makes it so special and nice to come to. Especially after that really, really, um, that very bleak snow stage we come through. We just came through. Excuse me. There you are, you little pesky armadillo. Gotta be careful. Because that might happen. We might hit that. Yeah, but I love this place. This place is fantastic. I would say um, the ice levels from DKC2 try to emulate this place in a, some regards. But how in the world did all these crystals grow? 
I mean, are they just ice or are they crystals? I, I always thought they were crystals, but... It could be ice. I mean, ice does, is pretty transparent, so... I, I would assume that it wasn't. I don't know, one of the letters are up here. It's, it's pretty challenging to get sometimes. <laughs> that is, without getting hit. You would have to um, slowly uh, push your way down and slowly make your way through the bees. Unless you did as I did and got hit. Which you can just pick up DK anyway. See, these ropes are both hanging down so we jump between them. Or if you're really skillful, you could just jump on one rope and keep going. Which isn't too hard, to say the least. That's the end of Slipside Ride, and we should be heading on to Croctopus Chase. I wouldn't say it's too tough a stage. Um, I would say the toughest part of the stage are the little tiny squids that are squirting around. And yes, DK and his crew are resistant to uh, um, hyperthermia. Look it up. Monkeys are resistant. Hi, Karamba. Those squids are going to be the death of me. Not the octopuses, though. And I don't think octopuses are indigenous to cold water, either. I'm really not sure about that, though. I need to look that up. Well, at least they're not... I don't believe they're indigenous to us. To Arctic-level water. Anyway, up here is a pretty well-hidden, um... Kong letter. The only way you can reach it is through that little passage that I passed through. Invisible passage, that is. And it's hidden in a, a plot place where you, you really wouldn't think it would be, because you would press against these walls and think it would be there. Also, I didn't mention this, but something really helpful for this stage is if you hold up or down on the D-pad, you can extend and descend faster. Which, which as I say, well as I will say, is ex really helpful. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is probably one of Rare's last game- I mean, Rareware's last game. Whether they were entitled Rare, where... Now they're just entitled Rare, if you're not familiar. That was... Horrendously bad, and please forgive me for getting hit. Probably should have been a little bit more patient, but all oh well. Yeah, this is probably the last game they're named um, Rareware. The following year, 2004, they're entitled. Um, they were entitled. Did I say the following year? They're entitled Rare, yeah. And the reason why um, Rareware could publish um, publish games for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance when they were partnered with Microsoft is because since Microsoft wasn't part of the handheld market of gaming, they were allowed to. And there's actually some new Donkey Kong games they're making for the Game Boy Advance. Um, but they had to change the names and such, so for licensing issues with Microsoft. And of course, they're allowed to uh, <clears throat> have ports of the Donkey Kong series on here because they worked on it previously. But the Donkey Kong games I was talking about, um, let me think. Um, Banjo Pilot when it was released for the Game Boy Advance. It was actually supposed to be Diddy's pilot, surprisingly enough, as in Diddy Kong. And then there was another one, another game called Mr. Pants. It was a puzzle game. That was supposed to be a Donkey Kong-related video game. And we're getting into some serious hardcore territory. And look at these moves. Jeez, these guys are bananas.
I need to step up my game. Really? Hope it counts. I think it will. I have a pretty good, good feeling it will. Yep, got the photograph. That's all that matters. Alright, next up we have Frankie. We're gonna talk to him just so we can... Um, because there is a photograph if we talk to him in each world. <laughs> yeah, Cranky, that, that would be exceptionally helpful. Holding down B makes you run fast. I would never have guessed. Anyway, we're at Ice Age Alley. And really well hidden O. I mean K, excuse me. And with that, an ostrich. But not any other ostrich, it's Espresso. Alright. On a stage up here. I believe there's two in this level. Now there's Espresso. Oh, goodness gracious. This is not good at all, so I'm going to commit suicide. Please don't follow my example. The reason I committed suicide because I need Espresso within that bonus stage. Or, in the matter of fact, I can take this Espresso since I already um, accomplished that bonus stage. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Just pretend I got espresso on that bonus stage. And all should be fine. <laughs> anyway, we need espresso here. Or not. That's always fine, too. Anyway, we should be able to get over here now. I think I got enough distance. Yep, there we go. Get the O, and we probably want to take care of this Neki. There we go. Remember, as I said, this <laughs> Espresso is necessary to get this bonus game. And here we are. So uh, he's also necessary the Kong letter as well. Anyway, we don't need you anymore. Let's ride out here in style. And we should get a, yep, a photograph from hitting that orangutan with a, with a barrel. Be um, I believe Cranky's hint for it is give, <laughs> give him a, his, a taste of his own medicine, which is quite a funny. Orangutan, a taste of his own message. <laughs> medicine. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce anything t throughout this whole playthrough. Anyway, let's go fishing. I think we're fishing for squid today. I think the only thing here is squid, so... Have fun catching them all. And you, and you have to think, this is probably one of the more easier stages, because... Because essentially there's no obstacles. So awkward to hear you talk, Get, um, Diddy. Here we go. Shouldn't you use a net to catch fish, Diddy? I swear, to catch squid. I 
I swear, I might as well be mumbling through this playthrough considering how lackluster this commentary is. Oh yeah, and I also love how they use the, um... The, the crystal-esque... Uh, parts of Slip Slide Ride. So yeah, there's your 50 squid. And we should be getting our picture from that. Yep. Fantastic. Alright, after Funky's fishing, we have Rope Ridge Rumble. Alright, first bonus game is down here. Funny thing is, this village looked a little bit more gray in the Super Nintendo game. Now it's more of a blue. Oh, come on! That's lame. And that is lame too! Almost killing me. No, no. Hopefully I can get Winky back here. I'd love to go through the stage at with him. I mean, that's what I originally intended. I'm surprised Winky didn't kill that armadillo. I'm really surprised. You think he you he would have? Through this playthrough, I think this stage theme has really grown on me. It's pretty catchy, to say the least. I always thought there was two of them jumping out around there, but apparently not. Oh, sorry, I misplaced. Mis I thought this was a different place, excuse me. Or I thought the previous place was a different place. That, just never mind. Yeah, this place does feel a little bit out of, um, a little bit out of the stage. Out of place, considering, well, this is the ice world. We're in a treetop. Feels a tad bit out of place, to say the least. And there's the exit of level. Cool. I say that's pretty chill. Next up, Torchlight Trouble. And we have our good friend Squawks here. And if we slap one of these guys, we get another picture. Hoorah. And if you slap a normal, you can get banana bunches or just single bananas, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but, of course, you can roll into them as well as jump on them as Donkey Kong. Diddy Kong, on the other hand, has to... Just, he can only roll into him. Anyway, bonus stage right here. I know, Donkey Kong, this port is not as good as a Super Nintendo. I can tell. Yeah, and if you couldn't tell, they fixed the um, the flashing issue they had in the Super Nintendo game, which I'm very thankful for. And they also fixed that in the um, in the port of Donkey Kong Country 2, yeah, and Glimmer's Galleon, which I'm also thankful for. Okay, I see what I have to do. Sorry, it's been a while. Alright, so what you have to do here, you have to use 
you have to use that uh, clap trap to bounce your way back up to get that G. And up here is a picture. And I think that one has, I think Squawk's in it. Pretty cool stuff. All right, now for our boss, really naughty rampage, and they've changed him up a bit. I don't know why I rolled under him, but uh, they changed him up in the fact that he drops stalactites on you. Nothing too special. I don't know if I like how they made him red whenever he's hit. But I guess it's a good indicator of what when he's vulnerable or not. Anyway, that was Glacier <laughs> Gorilla Glacier. And ah, Cranky's making a joke about he how he's a recolor. Anyway, that was Gorilla Glacier, and we now next time we'll be heading on to Crim Cock Crim <laughs> Croc Industries Incorporated. Let's check our level stats. Yep, we got all the Kong letters and bonus rooms. So I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.